Hello, I'm Nexus City for Six Production, and welcome to the review of War for Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Prime. This is a weird figure. First off, worth thing about the truck mode is that it follows the trend of it just looks like Optimus sitting down. Can we move past this already? I mean, I don't mind it too much because this is a core class figure and not that expensive, but come on. This figure of Optimus also doesn't seem to have doors, pretty much just like the Earthrise version. That's such a weird thing to not include. Speaking of, I had to scrape in lines for the doors because it, it's just so goddamn dumb for a figure this priced. Speaking of Earthrise Optimus, this figure seems to be mostly modeled after him, but he has a lot of weird traits from other Optimus Prime figures released recently. The proportions of the cab look much more like the Studio Series 38 figure, which, okay, it was a bit more of a realistic looking truck, so I, it's probably accurate, I guess? But then the grill is shaped like G1 Optimus Prime's grill. It's weird. Speaking of... I can't be the only person who finds it really sad how this 40-year-old figure still has a better back than most Optimus Prime figures. I mean, come on. $70 and you can't do better than just leaving the legs back there? Just... sad. Just about the only figure to actually try for the back is 38, so you gotta appreciate it for that. And even sadder is, this figure dunks on Earthrise Optimus by even having molded in wheel wells over the back wheels, which it didn't have. So, it's actually slightly better. And since I'm sure someone is going to care for this, yeah, it fits in the trailer, you weirdo. Though, now that it's in the trailer... Alright, Optimus, hand over the trailer, and I won't blow your scout to scrap. Very well then, Megatron. Take it. Ah, good. It's nice to see you cooperating, Optimus. You can go, you little worm. Finally, a victory, now to claim my prize. What the? Three measly energon cubes and a little truck? Optimus, you've tricked me! Gosh, Megatron. <laughs> Gah, stop laughing at me, Starscream, and help! Thanks for the rescue, Optimus. Ow, what the? Trailer and Mini Me cost more than two of you. If either are damaged, that's coming out of your paycheck. Aww. So let's see what this little truck scales well with, which I have a surprising number of things that it does. Such as a Lego Advent Calendar car. This mini con, this mini bot, this totally random assortment of construction vehicles that have nothing similar at all, and to my surprise, Earthrise Starscream. Yeah, I watched Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer's review of it, and it turns out that this figure actually scales pretty much perfectly with it, which is so weird. And then by extension, the G1 Constructicons don't scale all that bad either. Warpath 2, I guess, but then in robot mode, and that's not terribly far off from the Sunbow model. But then you bring in the Optimus that supposedly scales with the Starscream, and... Huh. And then here's the in-scale Constructicons, and that's kind of pathetic. And then Combine Wars Devastator, which is in scale with these two guys, is, is a Titan class figure. So, this is how he would look, and... Really? And then you pop the in-scale Core Class Optimus in, and... Come on! How can people honestly say that mass shifting is not a problem when it leads to this? This is what they would look like actually in scale, and... Oh, it hurts. I mean, let's take it just back to Starscream and Optimus. Does Starscream not look much more like an actual threat to him when he's over twice his size? But whatever, I guess. For a final size comparison, here he is with the other core class figures. Cause, you know, that matters. 
And now, obligatory, you can slap the weapon on the back of the truck. Because if we don't point it out every single time it happens, then someone's gonna get upset. The transformation is him literally just pulling an Optimus. There's nothing really to say here. Except here, where it's important to know, you can take the gun and use it to push his head out. And here is Kingdom Optimus Prime in all his weird robot mode glory. The hands have holes in the back of them because I guess there's going to be another DLC pack that comes with an axe for him. Fun. But otherwise they're unpainted and kind of stick out. And his proportions are, I wouldn't say weird, but it's weird where they're coming from. Again, his robot mode is modeled mostly after Earthrise Optimus, but his proportions look more like Siege. Not that I mind, because Siege still had better proportions anyway. His shins are actually kind of impressively true to the Earthrise model. Even down to having in the molded in half trailer hit sections, right above where his peg for the gun is. Kind of weird, shouldn't those be in kind of the same area? His crotch and midsection are clearly more Siege though. He's even got faux wheels molded into his midriff, just like Siege, even though the real wheels are right behind there, so, eh. The chest is undoubtedly Earthrise Optimus, even down to having panel lines that recreate his matrix chamber. But then the windshield wipers are molded in going over it? Plus this bit on the side of the arm looks more like the thing SS-38 has? Okay. Whose child is this? So, the articulation is pretty basic, but good for such a small figure. Swivel at the head. Shoulders on ball joint. Elbows on ball joints. Waist rotation is locked due to kibble. Hips on ball joints. And the knees are on ball joints. Otherwise, the ankles are molded in at an angle, which actually looks pretty natural. Pair the articulation with the gun and you can get some pretty good poses. Such as the, the Transformers will be back after these messages pose. This one stock image of Optimus we always see. Pointing and shooting. Doing that pose. Optimus, he's the fastest thing alive. Hey, let's murder your childhood for some money. By the way, the pegs on his thighs can act as blast effect ports to the right effects. They're not exactly perfectly sized for them. This one fits, but it's also kind of awkwardly placed, like they're aiming for his dick. Now I am Megatron. I am Megatron, and I am pointing and shooting. The pose you're going to have him in on your shelf, no matter what. And fuck you, Age of Extinction is underrated. So, what does he scale well with in robot mode? Well, considering he's made for the Titan class art coming up, I assume... Titan class Scorponok. I guess the vehicle mode also works for it? I'm not transforming him though, he's too big. Though yeah, I think this works decently well. Here he is with my other sort of HO scaled figures. So yeah, Kingdom Optimus, he's an odd one really. It seems like he's trying to be an everyman Optimus, and that really weighs down on the vehicle mode. I feel at least the cab could have been better. But otherwise, I think he's actually a pretty fun figure. He poses pretty well for what he is, and he looks good, so that's something. So I've been Nexus, and until next time, roll out! <laughs>